What's up guys, Ethan here from Go Hunt. I'm with Scott. Uh, recently, a couple weeks ago, we brought in red dots to the shop. So today what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a couple red dots that Scott picked out and we're gonna mount them on his rifle. Um, so right now we've got his AR style rifle. Um, we've cleared it, chamber well is open, and uh, we're gonna start working on it. So we've got a Romeo and Juliet combo from Sig Sauer that we're putting on it. So this is the Romeo 4XT and the Julio, Juliet 3 Micro Magnifier. Um, Scott, run me through why you, why you wanted those. Yeah, um, I decided to go with these two sights because, you know, AR style platform, I didn't want to put a scope on it. I know a lot of people can. You can put scopes on it. It's a good way to go. I have a couple bolt guns that are, you know, 223 platform bolt guns that have scopes on. So I didn't want to do a scope. I wanted to, you know, keep with something quicker, target acquisition and everything. And so I decided to go with um, the red dot, and then the reason I want to go with the Juliet is because you get that extra magnification, right. um, which makes a difference. And this is a little bit of a longer barreled AR. It's an 18 inch barrel. I know there's a lot of 14 and a half inch with pin and mm -hmm. welded muzzle brakes yep. or 16 inch. So a little longer, I wanted to get a little bit of magnification to justify right. that. Yeah. yeah, like I said, so the Juliet is a Juliet 3 Micro. So this is what it is. It is a 3X magnifier, uh, mounts behind your red dot and it will flip open at a 45 degree angle right here. So when you don't need it, you want no power, it'll sit like that. You can press the button here, flip it back uh, to the center. So that will mount behind your red dot. Um, the Romeo 4XT is a uh, one by 20 millimeter red dot. And this will mount somewhere right around here. We'll figure out where it goes, where it needs to go for Scott. Um, but this has four reticle options, um, and there's a circle dot, there's a holdover dot, um, and just a plain old red dot. Uh, it's got 10 different illumination settings. It is night vision capable, and um, yeah, we'll run through it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do to mount it was we're gonna mount the Romeo 4XT. So before we do that, I'm gonna have Scott get behind the rifle, figure out where his sight picture is. So to do that, make sure you got the right cheek weld. You're gonna have the same cheek weld every time. Um, so that your target acquisition as soon as you shoulder the rifle is the same spot. So go ahead and get behind it and I'll put this on here and see where exactly uh, we kind of need it. Turn down the brightness. That's pretty good right there. What, uh, which marking is that one on? That's the T9. This is T7 right there. Yeah, let's, let's go back to the T9. T9? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so because he's doing the Juliet with the Romeo, uh, we have to make sure that there's plenty of room for the Juliet to mount behind it. So that is going to be where the, uh, that's the closest setting on that T1 on your pick rail. Um, so because he wanted it at T9, I'm gonna move it a little closer so that it could sit nearly flush with the uh, Romeo. And now the Romeo does come with flip caps. So in order to run the Juliet on it, we had to pop off this back flip cap. Um, so that it wouldn't impede any uh, any sight picture. How's actually, that looking? Actually, with the magnifier, let's try it on. You want to go back? Yeah, go back right. to the T7. Okay, how's that? There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Right on. Cool. So what we're gonna do from here is we're just gonna tighten them down. Um, they the both of these come with the tool that you need to tighten down um, onto the pick rail. Uh, I'm gonna use my wheeler. Uh, and it comes with a 13 millimeter socket wrench and it's tightened down to 65 inch pounds. So I'm gonna go through and tighten these down uh, and then we'll go from there. All right guys, so now that we've got these mounted, uh, we're gonna have Scott get behind the gun here and we are going to have him look through, <clears throat> make sure that red dot is centered. Now because he doesn't have iron sights on here, uh, we're going for an absolute co-witness uh, if he had iron sights, we could have it at a one-third co-witness. Um, both of these have a riser if you wanted that, um, but because there's no iron sights, we're just going to center it. So go ahead and get behind and tell me where that red dot is and see how, how centered we can make it. Yeah, so right now it's off to the left and it's a little low. Okay, so we're going to take off the windage and elevation turrets that are capped on here. Uh, and Six Hour does provide a nice little tool for us to be able to adjust uh, whether, or adjust these turrets. We don't have to find a coin or anything like that. 
So you said off to the left. So we yes. go right. Go right. Now each click is a half MOA click. So I'm gonna move it four clicks. So two MOA. Oh, it's gotta go a ways to the right. Oh, how much more? <laughs> <laughs> I do another, another like eight clicks. Okay. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, How's better. that sitting? That's better. A little better? Yeah. Okay, and then you said it was a little low? Yeah, just a couple clicks up. Okay, we're gonna go two MOA up? Yeah. So that's four clicks. How's that sitting? Pretty good. Let's go a little bit more to the right again. Okay. Cool. How's that? Mm. A little Pretty more? Good. A little yeah, more? a little more. Why not? Another two MOA. Cool, that should be good. Okay, so obviously this isn't gonna be perfect. We're still gonna have to go to the range, get you to grouping, and then get you to zero it. So, and then from there we can make our final adjustments on the windage and elevation, but this will hopefully just get us close and at least hit in paper, right? Yeah. So, um, with these reticles on the Romeo 4XT, um, you, like I said, you have a, a choice for a center dot, a circle dot, or um, four holdover dots. And so when Sig Sauer did the, they ran through the testing for this, they used a standard M M4 with 5.56 five, ball rounds. Um, and they got it to where the center dot is 100 meters zero. The, the next holdover dot is five MOA down. That's about a 350 meter holdover. Um, and then after that, it's going to be a, a nine MOA holdover dot. And that's going to be 500 meters. And then beyond that is a 15 MOA holdover, which is about your 750 um, holdover dot. So um, you can adjust that to however you want. It's going to be different based on the barrel, um, the round you're using, all those different variables that will go into that. So you really need to go and zero it from here and just tune it yourself and, and have fun with it. One so. other great thing about that reticle too is the dots as they go down, those farther away ones get smaller. So you're able mm -hmm. to make more precise shots at farther ranges. You don't have a giant dot that's covering up your total tar all your target. Yeah. Cool. So once you get this set at the range, all you can do is have fun. So whether you're shooting targets or shooting coyotes, right? So um, if you have any questions, drop us a comment, hit us an email, um, give us a call. We're happy to help. Um, both of these are available in the, in the shop now. Um, so get yourself one today. Mm -hmm.